What's up, y'all? It's your boy Joe with the play back with another video, and today I'm gonna break down a new trailer of season four of The Shy. I've been waiting on this show for a very long time. This is my first time doing a video about this show, so hopefully some of y'all already know about it. And if not, hopefully I can put y'all on by the trailer right now. I know I ain't posted a video in like a little minute, but I still gained over like 100 subscribers during the past week. Good luck to y'all. I never thought this channel would blow up the way it did. Y'all go check out my Facebook because I made a little short film, and I know that y'all like it. All right, y'all, let's get it. Wake up, everybody. No more sleeping in. So I think it's safe to say that Kevin is going to be the main character right now. It kind of does make sense to have him as the main character because he has been through a lot. Not saying he's been through the most stuff, but he has kind of worked his way up there. I think this season is going to be mainly about him. Last season was mainly about Keisha, but this little boy has gone through a whole lot. What y'all think might be next for Kevin? Papa and Jake, which are two of Kevin's closest friends. They all been through a lot together throughout the seasons, but the only one who might have any type of trouble going on throughout this season might be Jake because Jake's family is heavily involved with gangs. He even lost one of his brothers to a gang, and he has another brother involved with a gang, which is Trig. What y'all think might be nice for them? If you just let it be. Nina and Dre, which is Kevin's guardians. What y'all think might be next for them? They went through a lot last season because y'all remember when Keisha had got kidnapped, they went through a very depressed mode. They were starting to lose hope, but then all that hope had came back once Keisha had got found. So hopefully they can continue having a good relationship. I like how this show has a lesbian couple. I think that that's very cool. I like when shows do that. Yeah, but as of right now, they look very happy. What y'all think might be next for them? So what y'all think is next for Emmett's dad and his new girlfriend, which is Lala Anthony. I was kind of confused at first because on the show she actually had messed around with Emmett now she's over here messing around with Emmett's dad like imagine you messing with a girl and then next thing you know your dad dating her I'll say that that's kind of weird but that's crazy how everything Lala Anthony is in she's always messing with a boy like she always got a boyfriend because she's so fine some of y'all might remember Emmett's dad from R. Kelly's trapped in the closet but Emmett's dad is a really good character though now Emmett what y'all think is this for Emmett Emmett is my favorite character him and Kevin I think Emmett and the boys are really the ones that really hold this show down to be honest with you they're really the ones carrying this show but do y'all think Emmett gonna get his act together every time you turn around Emmett always cheating I think he finally is hopefully he don't cheat no more though What y'all think is next for Trig? Trig is Jake's older brother. But what y'all think is next for him? So it looks like he's gonna be leading the streets now, taking Reg's place. He was offered by Duda on the last season. Y'all think he gonna survive this season? He looks like he's a very smart person, so hopefully he might survive. But obviously, it's gonna be some type of conflict. I think Duda might got something up his sleeve. Keisha, what y'all think is that for Keisha? Not gonna lie, Keisha is kind of cute, but what y'all think she about to go through this season? Last season was mainly all about her because on how she got kidnapped and all that. But good thing she did get found by Ronnie. And the guy that actually had kidnapped her had raped her, and now she's having a baby by the guy. She had a chance to get an abortion or not, but I think she chose not to get an abortion so that is kind of sad that it had to happen to her it took her a long time to recover from it so hopefully she can stay strong this season which y'all think is next for duda he basically got the shy on lock he's the head of the 63rd street mob and plus he's like the mayor now or something like that like he looks very evil like this guy will talk to you as if he's yelling at you but like without even raising his voice what type of conflicts y'all think he might face this season y'all think he gonna survive this season So then right here, we got like somebody getting arrested or like a police brutality scene or something like that. Then we see somebody putting on the mask as if they about to rob somebody or come kill somebody. Then we see somebody getting attacked right here. I think this is actually Kevin that's getting attacked because if you look at the beginning to see what type of jacket Kevin has on and then look at that jacket right here, I think that that's Kevin right there getting attacked. But for whoever the person is that's attacking him, I think it's this guy right here which is the same person that actually had killed Ronnie. He might still be out for some type of revenge or not, but I think that that's the only person that I think that can actually come for Kevin. But who do y'all think this is in this mask? And who do y'all think it is that's getting attacked? But as of right now, I think it's Kevin. All right, y'all. Thank y'all for watching this video. Thank y'all for over 200 something subscribers. Y'all remember to go check out my Facebook. Like I said, I made my own little short film. I already know that y'all gonna like it. All right, y'all. Peace.